Okay, we're going to look at the um, muscles of really the wrist and hand, um, looking at primarily the wrist and hand muscles, not the intrinsic, but the extrinsics of this area. So we're going to start out looking at the extensors, and we've got extensor carpi radialis longus. Um, remember, extensor carpi radialis longus, and then brevis sits next to him, but longus is going to come to the base of the second metacarpal. Brevis will come to the base of the third. So the movement for both of these is going to be extension and radial deviation. The difference will be where do we palpate. So I'm going to come down to the base of the second and ask my patient to do extension and radial deviation. Try not to resist fingers. You want to be resisting at the wrist area. And then I'll be palpating right in this area here. So go ahead and lift your hand up and in for me a little bit. And there is extensor carpi radialis longus. I'm going to move over now to the dip of the capitate, because that'll be at the base of the third. And I'm going to ask her to do the same motion. So she'll come up and in. There we go. And there is the tendon for extensor carpi radialis brevis. Again, with these muscles, sometimes we don't need to do a great deal of resistance. Just the contraction against gravity is enough to elicit. But if we need to, we can add additional resistance. The third extensor is extensor carpi ulnaris. So now we'll come over here to the base of the fifth. And this time, the patient's going to need to lift their wrist up and out. So this muscle likes to do wrist extension and ulnar deviation. So go ahead and bring up and out for me. And there we go. Now muscle belly for these muscles is going to be located up here as we come toward the common extensor tendon. So go ahead and just lift up for me again. Up and out a little bit. There we go. We can see muscle belly for ulnaris and then come back up and in. And muscle belly for radialis muscles um, a little bit more to the meat or the thumb side. Okay. We're going to have her flip over and look at the flexor side. And so first on our list is flexor carpi radialis. Flexor carpi radialis is a long tendon, and it's going to be coming down to the base of the second metacarpal with a slip to the third. So we're going to ask the patient to come up and out. There we go. Relax for one more time and pull. Alrighty. So this tendon that's easily seen, this is actually palmaris longus. Flexor carpi radialis is going to be toward the thumb or lateral, and so pull real hard for me, up and out, there we go. There is her radialis tendon, just lateral to palmaris longus. So a patient that has palmaris longus, this tendon will be more lateral. Muscle belly, go ahead and relax for me and pull up one more time. Muscle belly will be coming up here toward the uh, common flexor tendon on the medial epicondyle. And then uh, we want to go over and find our flexor carpi ulnaris. This muscle will be coming to the base of the fifth, and so the patient needs to come into flexion and ulnar deviation. Try to not bring in the fingers, but just the hand, and then pull up and in, and there is her flexor carpi ulnaris. Muscle belly-wise, it's going to be traveling right up here toward that common flexor tendon. Pull over for me one more time, and there we see the muscle belly for flexor carpi ulnaris. Palmaris longus we already found here in the middle, so we can move on and look at some of the extrinsics going down to the fingers. The first one we have is extensor digitorum, and extensor digitorum is going to want to extend the MCP, and so what we'll want to do is she can flick her fingers for us and we can see the tendons here on the dorsal aspect of the hand. I can give her a little bit of resistance here at the MCP. Go ahead and pull it for me. And that makes those tendons also contract. But what we'll want to look for is the muscle belly. Flick those tendons for me again. And the muscle belly is actually right here. We can see that slight little flicker as it's coming up and across. Alrighty. Then we want to look at flexor digitorum superficialis and profundus. And when we look at superficialis, he's going to be flexing at the pip joint. And so what we want to do is try to have the patient resist PIP flexion and not the other ones. That can be very hard. And so I'm just going to ask her to do some little, little flicks here. 
and we can see that muscle belly right there tendons are coming across and then a little bit more proximal we can see it here as well flexor um, digitorum profundus now is going to want to bend the dips and so now we're going to have her go ahead and pull at the DIP and this is a deep muscle so we won't be able to feel the tendons in the wrist area but we can find the muscle belly up in this area go ahead and relax for me and give me a little quick little flicks Okay. Flexor pollicis longus is next on our list. Flexor pollicis is going to be a thick, flat tendon that's going to want to bend the thumb. And so we'll go ahead and resist thumb flexion where she's going to bring her thumb across. Go ahead and pull for me. So thick, flat tendon we can feel here. And then muscle belly is going to be just lateral or toward the thumb side of flexor carpi radialis. So there's that tendon, relax for me. And so I'm going to feel here for the muscle and relax one more time. And there we feel the muscle, sort of a, a little deeper tendon in that area. Okay, the last group here in this area are the snuff box muscles. So we're going to position the patient back in a neutral position. And I'm going to ask her to do thumb extension, real strong, bringing that thumb up toward the ceiling. And we can see here the outline of her snuff box. I'm going to give you a little resistance. Pull. So here we can see extensor pollicis longus on the more dorsal border of the snuff box. And then when we come across to the other side, this tendon is extensor pollicis brevis and then just uh, on the other side of the thumb we'll find now abductor and it'll be easier to feel that if I have her do abduction of the thumb and it'll be right down here at the base so go ahead and pull and there is abductor pollicis longus so one more time on the snuff box thumb up extensor pollicis longus extensor pollicis brevis and then have her move into abduction and there's extensor abductor pollicis longus.